the gym. I went to a new gym today. I wasn't loving the energy in the gym over here I've been going to, so I decided to go to one that's just a little bit further, and I absolutely love it. I think they have better machines there, different machines that I've actually never used before, and I had a really, really good workout, so that was amazing. Let me show you what I got. We needed more oat milk, so I got some more oat milk, a little bit of salad mix, you guys have no idea how much salami I eat. I eat a lot of salami. It's like one of my favorite snacks. It's like a quick way to get a little bit of protein and I also like putting goat cheese on it. Great snack. My other favorite snack is cucumber. Literally, even by itself or with some like red wine vinegar and some salts. Very good. We got two lemons. I probably should have got more because I feel like I go through lemons so fast. These are for our dinner tonight. Some feta, Greek yogurt, and flatbreads. We're gonna do a little Mediterranean wraps. So I also got dill as well. And then I got some Pellegrino. I love the blood orange one. We don't really have a lot of drinks to have like with dinners. We usually will just have water. And sometimes that's boring. We need to spice it up. So little 4th of July weekend, we got some Pellegrino. I want a little snack while I get ready for my day. So we're gonna make a smoothie. I've showed you before my little chocolate blueberry almond butter protein shake. If you haven't seen it before, I'll show you again because it's amazing and I haven't had it in a while. So this should be good. <laughs> got done getting ready I'm wearing my top that's from my Amazon favorites video if you guys haven't watched it go over there for the link to this cutie top and then my old navy pants I got my Burks on but I'm gonna put my Steve Madden shoes that are in the car on after and then my Ray knot bag and my Vela sunglasses that's our little outfit let's go get some sweet green because when I was at the gym I was listening to the what we said podcast they were talking about sweet green and they really made me crave their crispy rice salad and I'm obsessed with it and I haven't talked about it on the vlog before so let me just go and get it and show you guys what it's all about because game over with this salad it's so good <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. <laughs> Correction, it's called the crispy rice bowl. I guess it's like a, it's a warm bowl. It's honestly salad with a little bit of rice in it. The key ingredient is the spicy cashew dressing. I even got some on the side to bring home because I, it's so good. Get some almonds on the side, which, you know, confuses me, but some people put nuts in their salad. Some people put nuts in everything. You know, that's a new concept to me. Catch me in a couple months being obsessed with like putting almonds in my salad right now. I just like don't totally get it, but I still put them in. But it's like, could I go without them? Yes, I could. I could. Wow, let's chat. Okay, it's July 3rd, it's a new month, we're in the middle of summer, and how are you guys feeling? Because personally, my summer mantra is to say yes more. More yeses, less noes, just like saying yes to things that usually my anxiety or fear would hold me back from, but things that I, I know that I want to do. One of my favorite sayings recently is to feel the fear and do it anyways. Feel the fear, feel the anxiety, of hanging out with the new people, hanging out with your friends, going out, doing whatever, whatever it is. Feel the fear, feel the emotions, and then let them go and do it anyways. And that's what I've been doing. And honestly, I've been the happiest I've been in a minute because obviously we were all in like weird head spaces during quarantine. And I was waiting until obviously being vaccinated to do things, but it came down to the decision that was like, are you going to do what you have been for a long time and let your anxiety hold you back from doing things? Or are you going to make this a great summer and do things all the time and do what you truly want to do? And that is 
live life and I decided to live my freaking life obviously it seems like an easy decision but when you have anxiety it's a hard decision and since I made that decision I feel so free so free I am in control I always knew I was in control but I feel really in control of how I want to live my life like live my life to the fullest I can do that and that does not mean things are perfect like I've still been going through it in a lot of ways but when you know that through anything you have yourself and you are going to make it through because you trust yourself and you know that you're strong and you know that you can get through it that is just everything I think Ethan's asking me where I am all right all right let's go see Ethan hi cutie Harley Harley <laughs> So an apartment update. We still don't have a couch. If you didn't already, we are getting a custom couch made and the fabric that we chose is actually on back order. So if we continue with that fabric, our couch will be ready for another five weeks. So we are stopping at the showroom today to try to pick out another fabric or we haven't even seen the fabric that we chose in the first place in person yet. So I'm just gonna look at all of them and see what we like. So let's go let's see what they got. the closest to the chairs and also I mean we could do anything with the with our other chair because it's white so it kind of just goes with anything there's this one too this one looks like a bone uh, this one looks more grayish white yeah it does okay, um, those are the three that I chose kind of final decision I really like these two. Yeah, this, this is the one. a little white. And then this is another one that I chose because I like the fabric on it. I do like the fabric on this one, but I think I like this color more. The color? Harley, ready to go to La La Land? La La Land? Ethan needs a matcha. Oh, this looks yummy. I know. So I got you the French toast, French toast. matcha. Dude, looks so good. And then I got the strawberry filled because it's my favorite. I think you would love this one. Really? Mm-hmm. It does taste like French toast. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty freaking good. <laughs> so this is Lava Land. We already decided we're gonna do <laughs> We already decided we're gonna do a whole video on La La Land and like trying a bunch of their drinks and stuff. We're gonna make a little pit stop. So this is a strawberry fields. Basically a strawberry matcha, but it also has strawberry and beetroot in it, and then I got it with oat milk. It's just like literally the best drink ever. Can we go look at the kitties across the street? Yeah. Okay. Of course. Yesterday I dropped off three rolls of film to get developed. Now I haven't developed film in like well over a year so I have some like pre-quarantine, during quarantine, and then I have one, the first roll that I finished for my new film camera. So I don't even know how this camera takes pictures like if it even works honestly. So let's open the email. <gasps> Dude. Yeah, well. Look at this one of Joe and I. Aww. Look at this one with the ray. Our Valentine's Day photo I shoot. Know, that's funny. Bella. Bella. Okay, there's so many to go through, so here they are. Oh my god, they're so cute! 
we're back at home and it's time to make dinner i'm gonna make these like mediterranean wraps kind of like gyros but we're gonna be using grilled chicken make it a little tzatziki sauce top it with some feta it's gonna be delicious so i already grilled my chicken that is ready and i also prepped the rest of my items so i have a couple cloves of garlic minced i have some red onion i have cucumber which is chopped up and then also drained chopped up some dill got some lemons and then i have greek yogurt for like the base of the tzatziki sauce so now we just have to assemble So good because it's so fresh. Mm -hmm. And the bread is like doughy. It's like so good. 